What is up guys? Before we begin with the tutorial, I just want to tell you that I have a giveaway that you can enter in order to win eight courses. It's explained in this video that you currently see here. Link for this video is in the description below. Make sure you check it up so that you can see how you can enter for the competition and uh, good luck. Maybe you will win eight of my courses and uh, also enjoy the tutorial. Take care. What is up people? Fahi here from awesometoots.com and we are in a new tutorial series as you can see and it is a 3D game so it's a 3... Can I do it like... No, I cannot do it, okay? Don't judge me. Anyways, it is our first 3D game. It's a simple one but hey, we are gonna cover it. We need to start from somewhere. I do plan to cover first person shooters and a lot lot more. So let me just play the game for you. I'm gonna hit play here. It's a simple game where we have this lily, lily, little simple pumpkin that needs to pass through these golems who are crazy as hell and not trying to do pretty much anything and we are gonna go through gates of hell and the game is over. Not that fancy, not that really big, but still better than most of the tutorials that you have out there. I mean, let's be, let's be honest. Anyways, we do need to start from somewhere. I just wanted to show you the game that we are going to create before we actually do it. Also, what I wanted to tell you is that you should definitely consider and go and take a look at my Indiegogo campaign. Now, so far, so good. $419. It is raised. The point here is that this is not only being raised for the course that I'm going to create, but it is raised for these tutorials on YouTube because I think that these tutorials are high quality. They are teaching you practical skills. I'm giving you, I am giving you the ways or the programming ways, how the pros are programming, the good programming. I'm not giving you just put every code in the update function and, and mess up everything. I'm teaching you the good way, the practical way, so on and so forth. So definitely you should consider going backing this up. You will get the course for 19, 29 will get two courses, so on and so forth. If you would like to participate into backing the project, but you cannot back it with money, then I am running, as you saw from my previous video, I am running a giveaway where I am giving away all of these courses, even the one that I'm going to create right here from this Indiegogo campaign. And your only objective there or what you need to do is just to share that course or actually share the Indiegogo campaign. And I put the link in the description below. The link will also be under this video, so on and so forth. I don't want to stall anymore. Share the link so that others can see it and enter in the competition. And if you can back it, then back it. Anyways, let us dive into our tutorial. So I'm going to open Unity and here is the project name. It's Pumpkins, Pumpkins and Golems. I'm going to save it here. Let me just take a look at it. It is, where is this going to try and save this? It's here on my YouTube tutorials folder projects. Here it is project. Yeah, this is where I want to save it. What is this thing doing? 3D. The project is 3D for the first time ever. So let me click on this create project. And since I have created this new project, I am going to close this one. So this is another unity. If you're wondering, just wanted to show you what we are doing. So moving forward here in our assets folder, we are going to import the assets. So here they are. We have the models, we have the textures. So I'm simply going to drag them and put them right here into my assets. Of course, you can download them the link to downloading these is in the description below. So go and take a look at it and um, yeah, just import them. And of course you will need to wait because Unity sometimes likes to wait for you a little bit like this that we just saw before it actually imports everything. So what am I going to do now? I'm going to right click here and I'm going to go and create a new folder which is going to be my scenes folder and here of course I'm going to keep my scenes. So let me just hold command press S 
to save the scene and I'm gonna select assets go into the scenes I'm gonna call it gameplay what else am I gonna call it and this is the 3D world of Unity, first time exploring it. Actually, you can explore it anytime you want, but we will create, we were creating 2D games, so we did not have the time to explore the 3D world of Unity. So this is it. Deal with it. Anyways, what we are going to do now is that we are going to create a simple cube, which is going to be our floor. We're going to give it a texture. So let's dive into it. I'm gonna go under game object and 3D and we are gonna click on the little QB here and here it is, this is our little QB, notice it, it is right here, little cube. So yeah, we introduced you with the cube and now I'm gonna take the cube and rename it to floor, hit enter and now we do need to, well, change the appearance of the cube. So we are gonna rescale it, so I'm gonna go here and actually rescale it 15 for the X, for the Y I'm gonna set it at 0.1 and for the Z I'm gonna say 56. So let me just go back here and see, oh this is too big actually, we are not gonna do this we are gonna resize it to let me just go here this is enough I think 33 or even 30 let's go 30 because it is a lot 56 30 and uh, let me just uh, rotate the bastard so let's see 20 yeah we should rotate it at 20 definitely it has already a box collider attached on it and let me just select this other tool I think we are good to go let me just take a look at the camera here it is let me select the main camera position it somewhere around here yeah this is okay now this is just the initial setup we will also program the camera to follow this little bastard or when I say little bastard I mean on the the pumpkin so what am I also gonna do is I'm gonna go here into the assets right click and I'm gonna create a new folder which is gonna be our materials and double tap on the folder and go here right click into the materials folder and I am gonna create a new material so click on the material to create it this is gonna be our floor material and let us attach an image attached an image attach an image on it we know that we have imported these textures where we have this ground texture so I'm gonna go quickly into the materials select the floor material and notice here the shader is currently set to standard we will talk about that in a second and for the standard shader we need to go here where it says albedo or albedo or however you want to pronounce that do not care particularly so I'm gonna click on that here and now I can search for the ground since we have also imported the golem, he has some other materials with him, the gates also. Anyways, we need to search for the ground. And I just mentioned this because we see many materials here, but we need the ground. If you cannot see it, simply filter for ground and you are good to go. So I'm going to click on ground and here it is. So if I now drag and drop it here, this is the ground. Now also notice one thing, let me just zoom in, my mouse is playing crazy, need to get me a new one. Notice here how the, the lightning is affecting this floor and this is that directional light that I have here and I have currently selected it inside of my scene or in the hierarchy. If I turn it off, automatically you see that we do not have any lights on this little bastard. What is wrong with me, little bastard, little bastard? I should throw that out definitely so this right here the material the shader standard is expecting to receive light in order to look great if we turn off the light it is not looking great if however I take this floor material which is here in the materials and I change it from standard and let's go here into unlit and I say for example transparent notice now how different it is his color and let me just go and turn off the lights even if I turn off the lights notice his color is still the same because we change it to a shader that is called unlit and unlit transparent unlit means that it does not need light to look great so it is like uh, I don't know a dude that does not need a great car to look handsome okay that was the closest thing I, I, I could have I could have think of 
Anyways, we also have some other shaders. So here we have FX shaders, GUI, mobile shaders if you're working for a mobile game, nature, particles, these are for particles and probably there will be, there will be some game where we will touch particles and whatnot. Also here, Skybox, okay, this is for the Skybox that this is the Skybox that you see in the background. So let me just go into the scene. This right here, all the blue things, this is the Skybox. Let me just go back and here, Sprite, Skybox, UI, Unlit, VR, Legacy Shaders. If I choose Diffuse, notice a different color now appears. And again, I think this one will be affected by the light. Yes, it is. This one will be affected by light. Now, this is just a brief introduction to these shaders. Shaders essentially make your texture look great. So there are different ones. I'm gonna go back to unlit and transparent. You can play with the different ones and see the result. Did I choose previously transparent? Let me just go unlit texture, not transparent, but it's the same. It is the same, let me choose color, yeah. Color will not go at all. Put it back in transparent and I am satisfied with the result. So this is just the beginning, this setting up our environment. This is the first video. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop here. Let me just save the scene. I'm gonna stop here and continue from the next video where we will, I don't know what we are gonna do, but hey. Anyways, Fahi here from awesometoos.com. I'm gonna sign out from this video. Definitely, definitely go check out the campaign. If you can back, back it with money, then go back it with sharing because it is great. This is great work and we are all gonna be part of it. I mean, everything that you saw in the video, in the promo video that you watched and I uploaded a couple of days ago, all of those games are gonna be covered in this course. So it's gonna be crazy. Anyways, catch you in the next video.